Top 10 Nick Cannon Successful Ventures 2020. Before we get started, please support our channel and subscribe, like, and hit the bell for upcoming videos. Thank you. Nicholas Scott Cannon, born the 8th of October, 1980, is an American actor, comedian, rapper, director, writer, producer, and television host. On television, Cannon began as a teenager on All That before going on to host The Nick Cannon Show. Wild In Out, America's Got Talent, Lip Sync Battle Shorties and The Masked Singer. He acted in the film's drumline, Love Don't Cost a Thing and Roll Bounce. Here are the top 10 successful ventures of Nick Cannon. 1. In 2005, Cannon created, produced, and hosted the MTV improv comedy series Wild N Out. That same year he hosted the so-called slime stunt on Nickelodeon's 2005 Kids Choice Awards in which a human cannonball was shot into slime. 2. He also hosted the first and only season of Nickelodeon's Friday Night Slime Time. In addition, he was a DJ on Ellen DeGeneres' bigger, longer, and wider show. On the 11th of December, 2009, Cannon hosted the Nickelodeon Halo Awards along with Justin Timberlake, Hayden Panettiere, Lebron James, Kelly Rowland and Alicia Keys. 3. Nick Cannon is now the chairman of Team Nick for Nickelodeon and the development and creative consultant of the network since 2009. In 2012, Nick Cannon created a sketch comedy series, Incredible Crew. Starring six teenagers as Cannon wrote and produced the theme song. The show was produced by Cartoon Network Studios, in association with Incredible Entertainment. The series aired 13 episodes before being cancelled. 4. On November 30, 2012, a picture of Cannon was posted on the Incredible Entertainment website, which reported that Nick signed a deal with NBC Universal to produce scripted and unscripted material for the network. 5. In December 2015, Cannon was named Chief Creative Officer of Radio Shack in hopes of catering to a younger crowd. According to the company this role involved creating Radio Shack exclusive products and curating the in-store experience they launched the incredible line of consumer audio electronics the following February, starting with incredible one wireless headphones. 6. On the 19th of January, 2010, Cannon hosted the morning show, 6.10 a.m., with co-hosts Nikki and Southern Sarah Lee at 92.3 Now FM. WXRKFM, in New York, 7. Cannon has a weekly chart program called Cannon's Countdown that is syndicated by CBS Radio. 8. Currently Cannon hosts his own show Nick Cannon Mornings at Power 106 in Los Angeles. Nick Cannon's show replaced Jay Cruz's The Cruz Show in the 5 a.m. 10 a.m. time slot after Jay Cruz went over to Rival I at Radio for their afternoon drive show. 9. On the 13th of July, 2010, Cannon announced that he was going on a comedy tour in fall 2010, beginning at the Just For Laughs Festival in Montreal. In early 2011, Cannon recorded his first stand-up comedy special titled Mr. Showbiz at the Palms Casino Resort in Las Vegas. The special premiered on Showtime on the 14th of May, 2011. A digital release of Mr. Showbiz became available on iTunes beginning the 16th of May, 2011, with the physical release of the album on the 31st of May, 2011. 10. In 2011, Cannon filmed a public service announcement for Do Something encouraging teens to find a cause about which they are passionate and take action in their communities. Since 2011, Cannon has served as the celebrity spokesperson for the National Association of Letter Carriers annual National Food Drive, which is held throughout the United States on the second Saturday in May, in November 2016. Cannon was widely reported as commenting on his opposition to abortion, saying that abortion is modern-day eugenics and population control. It'd like to say kudos to Nick Cannon, 
for all his successful achievements and endeavors. Thanks for watching our channel. If you like this video, please comment and subscribe.